What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I'm sweaty. I took everything out of, well, I took a bunch of stuff out of the van, kind of cleared it out so we can get started on it. Then I hauled all this lumber um, over here. And so we are going to go ahead and take out the old bed and start working on the new bed platform. Um, we're kind of winging it. We kind of have an idea of what I want, but really we don't have like a set plan. So, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'm gonna tell them what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. So we're just gonna jump into it and uh, see how it goes. Here's my very rough draft of the layout. which this will be the inside, so it'll be covered. Which we probably won't be covered like that. Put these 20 inch on here. Oh, on, on top of them? Yeah, like that. because we're gonna save room like this uh -huh. for the ones going that way. So it'll be in a little bit? Yeah. So we're gonna pre-drill with this. That way the boards don't crack. This is gonna get your band nice and dirty too. It's already kind of dirty. We're also gonna use wood glue because this stuff is amazing. Alright. So wood glue would be stronger than these uh nails or screws. Pretty strong. All right, so basically what we did, just second ago on the other one, we're gonna line these up where we want it because this is where it'll be um, once we have the other boards on. Draw a line. We'll do the same thing over here. That way you can line them up. And then we're gonna take this drill bit. It's a countersink, it's got that, and then it'll, it'll put holes Watch and you want to do them diagonal. See how it puts those holes? And that way your board won't uh, break, it won't crack when you put the screws in and it'll sink in without messing the board up. And do the same thing on this side. And then make sure you get all this sawdust off. And then you're gonna line your lines up, make sure they're good. And then you're gonna put your uh, wood glue on there, but you only want it to go right here. And you don't wanna do circles because that puts air pockets. So when you stick them together, it does air pockets and then it won't, it'll wanna shift. So if you literally just get in there and just do like that, it'll be fine. You could do, you know, zigzag, whatever. And um, some people smooth it out. I don't really worry about that. But now this way, when you smash it, there's the air will be pushed out. Learn that the hard way back in the day. And now you just line up your lines and then you make sure it's flush on front and back. 
So we'll do this one first so you can see it up close. So from the top, you're looking down, it's lined up and you're lining up the back, put a little pressure on it and then screw it in and it won't crack and it'll go down in there. the other board going that way in there that'll be a little tricky but we'll be able to get it done and then we'll hook on the front so we're gonna go ahead and build the same frame uh, for the front actually we still got to do um, here and here that way we'll do the same things uh, glue them and screw them and then that way all this will be open underneath for uh, storage but it gives it enough strength to hold it up for these uh, I'm only going to use one screw because the glue is really going to hold it once it's already good to go. So we're going to come in and pre-drill again. I'm going to do it right in the middle. Now I'm going to do it again down here. And then it'll be the same thing on the other side, but we're going to go ahead and measure in. It's a foot and then we'll mark it, put it on there, glue it, screw it. So what we'll do is, um, on this, mm -hmm. we want it, the board on this side. Okay. So you can just go ahead, since you know where the lines are, just put glue on here. I have it, it'll start dripping, so we'll be ready, but go ahead and just kind of right here, because the board only go about to here. And then do the bottom. All right, and then we'll stick this on there. Line up that edge. And it's flush here on top too. So go ahead and do this top. We'll mark 18 in. Never be scared to uh Give yourself directions because you'll get ahead of yourself and that's when you mess up. And when we cut, we marked all the boards what um, length they were. That way there was no second guessing what it was. The best way you can do it is have a square to make sure everything's square, but it's such a simple build that not worry about it. Go ahead and put some glue there. trying to do now is get the boards these that go from here forward but to fit because it's such a tight fit we're gonna have to move this forward and uh go ahead and do them um before they're on out there so if you give me that drill i'll pre-drill real quick um are you trying to use these or the longer ones uh we'll use the longer one we'll do is uh, throw some glue right on this side and this side. Just go ahead and just put it, yeah. There you go, that's fine. A little wood glue never hurt anybody. Go up.
will be on the inside. You're gonna do it there, do there and here. All right, so what we did, we just cut these boards and we're gonna stick them down in here and we're gonna screw them in. What it's gonna do is lock the bottom in and it'll lock it from sliding side to side because it'll be up against the wheel wheel so we'll go ahead and square this up hook these on and uh it'll be good to go and then we'll build the uh partition in the middle that way there's storage on the inside and then from out here there'll be storage from here as well so um we'll go ahead and hook these on and then we'll build that wall make my own pocket jigs So we got a bunch of uh, cedar planks and we cut them to fit uh, right here. And so what we're gonna do is just one screw in each and uh, that way we'll countersink them and we'll glue them and they're not gonna go anywhere. This is literally just a wall. So we'll start on this side and then we'll just work our way down. of glue down the edge that way it'll glue itself to the next one over that'll be good and it won't go anywhere So that's the back wall there, and I'm not too worried about this part and that part. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those open. Um, the AC vent is back there, so kinda wanna make sure that it's able to get a little airflow throughout that small, tight area, but that's what the middle is going to look like. So now we're gonna start here in the front. So after looking at it, um, we decided we're gonna go ahead and put the plywood on top, and then we're gonna start on the front so that we can um, level it out with the plywood on top and that way it's all flush. Right now we cut a whole bunch of these little blocks and we're gonna start trimming it up. you guys we're gonna go ahead and call it a day this is what we got done so far um i personally like it i think it looks very rustic and that's the look that i'm going for that's why i wanted the cedar and everything um unfortunately we did have to use the screws but we we're gonna trim that up um to cover that we did buy a nailer because uh we were trying to make it look pretty clean but unfortunately we wound up picking up the wrong nails so we did just um instead of having to wait and go back into town and everything we just put some screws in there uh, it'll be covered by trim yeah it'll be covered by trim so this side uh it's it is off center with the van 
but this will be a door here and that's storage. This side will be my little kitchen area like I talked about before, but um, between this cabinetry and this little cabinet, it'll be centered between those two. So that's why it is a little bit off center. So under here is probably where I'm going to keep all of my clothes, things of that nature. So the front will be basically my closet. And in the back, I wanted to leave it open to where I can either build some wooden boxes for if I know exactly what I wanna keep in there. As of right now, I'm not sure. So I left it open, no uh, compartments as of right now, but that's not to say I might change that in the future. But as of right now, it's open storage to the front and open storage to the back. So clearly it's not exactly what I would call finished, but as you can see, the back storage will be open from here to here and all of that will be free storage space. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to keep back here. So as of right now, I'm just going to leave it open. Not going to worry too much about it and I'll wind up finishing this. Obviously not today, but uh, pretty soon. So I definitely will have this cut all the screws covered with trim. Um, as far as the door goes, I'm not sure if I want to do doors that open like this or maybe opens it pulls up or maybe even one that pulls down that might seem like a little more logical I guess but uh, I don't know what do you guys think do you have any personal experience I guess with the doors in a smaller area like this I'm not too worried about the sides over here all this is gonna be covered uh, each side there's gonna be a cabinetry here I the mattress that I'm getting will be a foam mattress a memory foam mattress that's six inches thick so once the mattress is in here, it'll cover all of this and it'll go up to the windows and the back doors. So that's why I didn't do it. A lot of people last time when I said that, they were like, no, it's gonna cover your window if you put the bed up to the door. I didn't mean the frame, I just meant the bed itself. Once it's in, it's gonna be up to the windows on the back doors. So I did go with cedar for pretty much all of the wood interior. Um, every everything everything in here will be cedar so this is cedar i'm gonna have cedar on the walls um i've shown the cedar that i'm gonna put on the walls in my last video if you want to check that out if you have not already but i'm doing that and then the countertops are also going to be cedar but every every wood i guess is going to be a little bit different so it's not all going to look exactly the same but it will all be cedar I will be clear coating it as well and so that will really make it pop and bring out the orange colors which will kind of match this. Um, I'm not sure, I'm really not sure what type of wood this is but it does have a real orangey color to it and so I definitely think it'll blend in great with the cedar. Uh, I, I really wanted to go for more rustic and raw and just simple and so I love the cedar look. I love how it smells. So I'm really happy with this so far. Just seeing this up, I'm already, it's already giving me a better envision and picture of what everything else is gonna look like. And this seems like this is such a big space for a bed. There's so much storage underneath, but I still feel like even when the cabinets are built, there's still gonna be plenty of room for what I personally need. And that's the thing about van life and, and converting this van in particular for myself is that I'm converting it to my specific needs for what I know that I'm going to need. And so when um, I do appreciate everyone's advice and in your comments and stuff, please keep them coming. But there's, you know, some people who may not agree with everything that I do in this van conversion and that's okay because everyone's different. Everyone has their own specific needs for me so far. What I'm picturing in my head and this coming up and coming to life, I really feel like it's exactly what I'm going for and what I'm seeing in my head. And I'm so excited that it's finally coming to life and I'm I, I'm just dying and itching to start on the rest of it. But I'm losing daylight, so we're going to call it a day for today. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, check out my van life or my van life build playlist uh, that I created. I'm documenting this whole process and check that out if you haven't already. And make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you enjoy the content, if you're looking forward to more content like this. Um, like I said, I'm documenting everything. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. So this is pretty much day one of actually building inside the van and the next next video I'll definitely get on some trimming and I'm probably going to get 
the cabinetry finish, like it's going to go up super quick. So I'm excited about it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.